Hello everyone, welcome back to SFDC Panther. My name is Amit Singh and in this video we are going to talk about what are the top updates related to Lightning Flow Builder in our release which is Spring 22. So recently Salesforce has upgraded all the orgs to the Spring 22 and whatever the upgrades were there related to Lightning Flow Builder that we are going to see over here. There are multiple updates but I have listed few of them and these are the very important updates that we can have. The very first thing is that now we can check all the record triggered flow for a particular object with the help of trigger explorer. So for example there is an account object and under account object if we have 10 record triggered flows we can see all those record triggered flows inside a single page and from there we can take the actions like we can directly navigate to those axes. Then we will see how we can migrate our workflow rules to the flow builder. As you all uh, have, uh, all you might be knowing that Salesforce is deprecating their process builder and workflow rules in coming year 2023. So they have provided a tool with the help of that tool we can migrate our workflow to the flow builder. They haven't provided any sort of tool so far to migrate the process builder. For this we will be having a complete video, complete separate video in the next video we will talk about but for now we will see from where we actually go there and try it. Now we can control the execution of our flow in which order our flow is going to be executed. So support that there are total three flow in a particular object called account. Now if you want say that uh, there is something called A1 that is the flow then you have got flow something called f1 and then you have got flow something called f3 these are the three flow under the particular account now if you want the order of f1 to be 1 order of f3 to be 3 and order of a1 to be 2 this is the order you can define in your flow i'll show you how you can actually define that then now you can open your subflow directly from the canvas in the subflow reference. So what is there? We will see in the demo. You can create a record collection to generate your choices. So for example, you have a list of records. Say that you have a list of cases or not cases. Say that you have a list of products. Now you want to, instead of showing as a pick list, you want them to display as a radio button. You can use a record collection variable and then you can display those as a choice. So you don't need to create, you just need to use that collection and the choice will be created automatically. Then there is something called collection filter element. Now if you want to filter the collection which you have, you have a master collection. Let's say that you have a collection of opportunity. Okay. Then you wanted to filter these opportunities to the two different collections. Say that there is something called open opportunities and then there is something called close opportunities. So in that case, instead of querying two times, what you can do is make a SQL query and then do the collection filter to store all these details. We will see all these in a demo. We will not waste much time over here. So let's quickly jump into Salesforce org and we will see the demo. Before we jump there, please do like, share, subscribe the channel. That will give us the huge motivation in order uh, to create the videos. Also, there is a new channel which we have recently created. You will get the link in the description. Please do like, share, subscribe that channel as well. Once you navigate to your flow, the very first thing that we talked about is to check all the record triggered flows for a particular object. So once you are in the setup, search for flows. So if you search for flows under process automation, you click on flows and this is the link that you will see. Earlier before Spring 22 release, we don't use to see this particular button called Flow Trigger Explorer. So if you click on this, it is going to open a new tab in the browser itself. And here you will see, you have got a list of objects. If you click on this drop down, you will see all the list of objects. So if you scroll down over here, you will see all the Salesforce objects where you can create your flow builder. For example, you want to see all the record triggered flow which are on account. When a record is deleted, so there is no flow. Okay. If you click on record is updated, if you click on this drop down, there are no trigger on account. 
no flow on account which runs when a record is updated there is no flow builder on account that runs when an account record is created if i change this to particular object which is called a case you can see there are no before save flow in case of created there is one after save flow which is sample orchestration and there are no flow which run asynchronously similarly i can change the operation i can find out there is one again there is one flow and then in case of delete there is nothing if you want to check for any other object called opportunity for delete there is nothing but for create we have got multiple you see here we have got multiple send custom notification email alert update these are the active flows and one is inactive right this is for submit for approval now if you go ahead and change the operation for update you will see there is one flow which is not here for update so this is the place where you actually see all related flows for a particular object and these flows are only record triggered flows not not screen flows because we cannot tell which screen flow is for which particular object now there was something with which we talked about to migrating the workflow rule to the flow builder okay to do that if you search for migrate okay if you search for migrate under process automation you will find migrate to flow which is in beta version now you can see here i have got n number of workflow rules over here however these workflow rules are basically a part of manage package okay so you see these are all the manage package but if i select this and click on migrate to flow it will give me a screen where we can migrate so we will create a separate video for this in the next video we'll talk about we'll create a flow and then we will basically see how we can migrate our workflow to the flow the next thing where in our record triggered flow or we talked about like uh, sub flow can be opened directly from the parent flows so if you have developed a flow as a part of this series we have developed a flow where we actually referenced our sub flow okay so i will just open this particular this is a particular screen flow which i have opened you what you need to do is or as a part of this demo let's let me quickly create a new flow i will show you basically by creating a new flow and here i will have every single thing i can use any type of flow over here i don't need to worry about that so the very first thing let's quickly add a sub flow over here so if you click on plus icon there is something called sub flow if you select this sub flow and on the drop down whatever the flow you want you can just go ahead and select that that's it you don't need to worry about what flow you are selecting so now if you see here it said that referenced flow this is a flow which is referenced okay sub flow clone permission sets and groups if i click on this open reference flow it is going to open that particular flow for me and here i can make the changes this is what that sub flow reference is says now like earlier we used to have a very problematic flows when we talk about problematic flows for example this particular flow is basically containing multiple sub flows say that 10 or 15 now if i wanted to see what each sub flow does i had to go to the flow section find the flow and then open it now what salesforce has done for the simplicity just go ahead now again uh, let's quickly add a sub flow yeah it will like look this uh, look like this just go ahead click on the flow even if you see here this has got something called open reference flow so either you can edit after editing as well you will find that or even clicking on that element you will find what is the flow you click on that flow will be created next thing that we talked about is we can use collections we can use record collection or uh, to create the choice set so what we will do is we'll go ahead and create a query over here get records let's say that uh, uh, soql all products what object we want to do the query on is basically product 2 we will say let's say is active is a checkbox and we will say that the product is active and we are storing all the records over here so click on done now if you want to create a choice set based on this particular reference okay based on these whatever the product you have got 
So you just need to click on new resource. And then there is something called record choice set. Not record choice set, collection choice set. This is the one which is new, which is uh, newly introduced. So you click on collection choice set and we can say that where product records and what is your collection? This is our collection. Now, what is the value that you wanted to display? Say that we wanted to display the name of the product. What is the data type? It is text. What is the choice value? So this is something which user will be seeing. And this choice value is something which will be selected behind the scene. So let's say that we want product ID. So we can select product ID and click on done. Now we can use this a particular product choice set in our screens. So if you click on plus and add a screen, and we will say that simple screen, and we can use pick list or, or we can say choice or radio is something. Okay, we have got radio buttons, and here we will say that products. And what choice set we have got? We have got this product records, which is our record choice set. Okay, and what it says that name from name field from all SQL query product records. So basically, this is going to display. We will see how it actually displays that value this was one of the other feature which we had one thing that we had is now if we have this collection we can filter and create our own collection so the example that we have taken we want to have all the opportunities first and then we want to see which opportunities are open and which opportunities are closed so for that what we can do is we just go ahead and click on plus icon and then get all the opportunities. So we'll say that so cool, all opportunities. Which object it is? Opportunity. We don't need any filter, but still we can say stays name does not equal to null. Okay. Just putting a filter. We need all the records. Click on done. Now this particular element, this particular data element is going to get all the opportunities for us, right? After that, now if we want what are open opportunities, so we just go ahead and click on plus icon. Then click on, then select collection filter. And what we say is, we can say closed opportunities and which collection filter is opportunities and what filter we want. We want stays name, okay, equals to closed one. Sorry, we need to use equal and then we need to use closed one. This is the closed, or we can say stays name equals to closed lost. And it can be or. That means if any of this condition is there, opportunity is closed. No matter if the opportunity was lost or if we have won the opportunity, we click on done. We can again use a collection filter, okay? We can just go ahead and use collection filter and we can say open opportunities. Again, we have the same filter which says that opportunities from closed, sorry, it is opportunities from SOQL, not closed, okay? SOQL1, then we will say stage name. And this time we will say does not equal to closed one. Okay, this should be stays name does not equal to closed one, and stays name is not equal to closed lost. Now by doing this, we have got two more collection variables. Now we can just go ahead and iterate with these. We can go ahead and perform some additional steps if we want. Okay. Now what I will do is I'll just go ahead and remove this subflow element because this is something which is creating uh, some users behind the scene so i'm not going to use that i'm just going to show this uh, sorry save this i have given the name spring 2022 updates okay if you click on show advanced there is nothing we have got so far right just go ahead and click on save i just wanted to show you this particular uh, collection choice set okay go ahead and do the debug click on run you can see here all the products are listed over here that we have. You can select any product. We can click on next. And under here, behind the scene, you see here, we have got all the opportunities. Okay. Then there is collection filter. Items in the source collection were 43. Items in filtered target collections were 19. That means there were total 43 opportunities. Out of 43, there were only 19 opportunities which met the criteria where the stage name is either equal to closed one or closed lost. You can see here. Then there was another opportunities, okay? And it says that items in source collection were 43. And it says that items in filter collect, uh, collections were zero because the filter condition is there in our filter collection is basically wrong. 
if we want we have to change the condition instead of and we have to say the condition stays name does not equal to close one or stays name does not equal to close last if any of these condition met that means our opportunity is open we go ahead and save this if you do the test for this particular flow again this time you will see that update okay so this is about our screen flows and some additional elements that salesforce has introduced there is one very important which we are missing is how we can define the order of execution of our flows okay and that is only for record triggered flow because screen flows are something which we can control when we want to show which particular screen flow okay now let's say that there is something called auto launch flow that we have developed in the previous videos where we send the custom notification whenever opportunity was closed just go ahead and open that or you can open any record triggered flow which is there so if you see here our element says that we've got objectives opportunities and all these uh, this is all what we wanted to do okay now if you wanted to control the order of execution how we will control this so you just need to go ahead and click on this save uh, this gear icon okay click on gear icon and click on save or so advanced and you will see triggering order you see there is a additional attribute which say that trigger order and if you hover over to the eyeball icon you will see enter a number from 1 to 2000 to prioritize the order that the flow trigger run to a specified object okay now if you say that i want to run this object in the first order i want to run this particular flow at the first go i can put one or i can put 10 that is how i provide the order and i click on done and that's okay this is for the existing flows that we have and that is why salesforce says this is the flow trigger explorer this is where that comes into the picture for opportunity you know there are a couple of more triggered okay you can see there are for created there are basically four trigger now which one you want to get executed first you can open it from here then give the label not label basically give the order and based on uh, order this flow will get executed now for new flows so for new flows what you can do is uh, let's quickly go ahead and create a new flow which is a record triggered flow and i will show you again the process is same but there is something you might be having in your mind mind like uh, you have shown us for the existing flows but what about whenever we are creating a new flow and we are trying to save a particular record how we will do that so let's say that this is on account a record is created no condition nothing go ahead and click on done now if you click on save okay you just do the save again the similar thing is there so at once a record tri uh, trigger order is there you provide the order and that's it i can say spring 2022 updates again go ahead and click on save one more thing that you might have noticed for the record triggered flows if you click on this start you will see there is something called open flow trigger explorer for account if you click on this again it will open the trigger explorer for you where you can figure out how many trigger explorer triggers flow triggers are there for that particular object now you can see there is one flow which we have created for account for the operation called created so we have covered view all object triggered flows we have covered this particular thing uh, there is a new video which we will be creating for this order of execution subflow record collection and collection filter so we have covered almost all the important updates which uh, which are part of spring 22 for our flow builders so this is it for this video thank you for your time and again if you have any questions please feel free to put down into the comment section if you have any scenarios feel free uh, please feel free to email us and uh, please do like share subscribe the channel thank you